I'm looking through the end. That and Holy back. shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I was right. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. I was right. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> it was Von Karma who killed Edward's dad. <sighs> As we're, we are about to prove. Yeah. 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 Anyway. I was afraid this would happen, and so I remained silent. Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. What? I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. But, but Mr. Von Karma, can you prove that? Prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It is Mr. Wright. I'm oh, sorry. It is Mr. Wright who must prove something here, not I. Well, Mr. Wright? Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Von Karma's shoulder was fired? Er, Von Karma's shoulder was from DL6. Of course you can. You don't have any of the DL6 evidence. That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday. Call him out on it. <laughs> With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. No, I'm the one who's sorry, Mr. Von Karma. Wh what? You are so close, one day away from freedom. But you see, I have proof. Wh what? You would have thought you would dig your own grave trying to convict Edward. I can link that bullet to your in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. And here's my final proof. That's a bullet? Where did you get that? This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. It was just taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edward. The bullet is preserved quite nicely, with all the ballistic markings intact. Ballistic markings? You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of a weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with that weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. That was from the bullet versus... Uh, that was comparing the bullet um, that was inside of Hammond with the pistol that Edward had. At the time. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, right. And then we proved it wasn't him because it was... With the left hand. But he was holding it his right. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyway. We have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edwards' heart. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried on your shoulder. In your shoulder, sorry. We could analyze both bullets. Then, if the markings match, we would know that both bullets have been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol. In other words, the murder weapon that killed Gregory Edwards. Mm -hmm. Mr. Von Karma? You will let us remove the bullet from your shoulder. Then, we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. Well, Mr. Von Karma? That scream. I've heard that scream before. Wait, I know. I can't breathe! Quiet! I said quiet! You're not making this any easier. Stop breathing my air! I'll... I'll stop you! Stop? Oh, sorry. Stop breathing my air! Get away! Get away from my father! It's that scream I heard from the in the elevator. Fifteen years ago. Von Karma, it was you who screamed! <laughs> Mr. Von Karma. Oh, Edward! Only you would dare defy me! So, it was you. You and your father are my curse. Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. And you... You have a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. I... I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! 
Fifteen years earlier. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Uh, my karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edwards would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. <laughs> Edwards! That's karma. Oh, it was a shock like none I had never known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to regain my composure. Suddenly, I found myself in the darkness. I was in the court records room. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall and felt my way to the elevator. I pressed the button, but nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain, a horrible, burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on. The elevator door opened before my eyes. I saw three people inside, all lying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then, it was destiny. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who would shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium, blaming Mr. Yogi. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Who would have thought another man would have come to open that elevator door? Judge. Well, what? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen years later, Mr. Miles Edward. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Miles Edward. Not guilty! We did it. We, we did solved it. a fifteen-year-old case. And we proved Miles was innocent in all parts of it. Yeah. In both trials. In both trials, yeah. That is all. This court is a jerk. Holy shit, my heart. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Isn't this game good? Yes! Much better than Danganronpa, I might add. Okay, fine. Nick! Nick! We did it! Did you see his face? Lord Carver looked even paler than usual. He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Crushed! I gotta say... I'm impressed. <laughs> it was pretty close, though. I was sure we had it. I know. I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. So, it's finally over, Edgeworth. Right. Yeah? I... I'm not sure how to say this. I know. I know. Try it. Thank you. I... I see. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. I think you could have done better than that. Mm. Sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. You got a lot to learn, Edgeworth. She's got you there. <laughs> Amazing, pal! You pulled it through just like I thought you would! I'll never forget this! I owe you one, pal! And tonight, let's party! Dinner's on me! Yeah, my salary went down a bit this month. But who cares? See, Miss Edgeworth? You should take a lesson from Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Hmm. I... I see. <clears throat> Woo! <clears throat> Whoop! I... I feel foolish. Don't worry. Take it a little at a time. You'll get used to it. It's been 15 years since I've seen Edgar with this unguarded. Hey, y'all! Wada! Yo, great in there! Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats! Very Thank y'all very much. I knew you were innocent from the start, of course. Just look at ya. You wouldn't stick your hand in the cookie jar if you, 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 even if there was no one there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial. 
Yeah, well, let bygones be bygones, eh? Speaking of which, oh, sorry. Speaking of which, what are you doing now, Lotta? Were you trying to imitate my accent? No, I, 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 I swear I wasn't. Who, me? Oh, I went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Huh? It's over, Nick. My life is over. Well, why the sad face, Larry? What happened now? Can't say. Oh, Nick. I'm not long for this world. Uh, you look sick. It's Keyonce. She, she's gonna lo go to lo she's gonna, she's going to live in Paris, Nick. Paris. She's leaving me behind. Should have seen that coming. Yo, Edgy. But there you are. Um, yes. Here I am. Congrats, Edgy. Here, we'll give you the fair means in celebration. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Harry Butts. Harry Butts, you come along tonight too. My treat, pal. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Yo, yo, Nick. That's that's the suit that pushed me. When he says treat, that's not police talk for like prison talk, prison food, right? Right? Uh, I think it'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah. What's up? That envelope that Larry gave me. It's got money in it. Well, yeah, that's not strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's thirty-eight dollars, right? Huh? What a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. Thirty-eight exactly? N -n Nick, wasn't that exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? Thirty-eight dollars? No. No, Larry, it was you. What are you so surprised about, Mr. Wright? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day, 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. I never was good at history. <laughs> Edgeworth? You didn't know, did you? I suspected. I just couldn't picture Larry protecting you like he did that day. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school. When something smells, it's usually the butts. I know, I know! Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure it out. Well, this year isn't an expected turn of events, eh? Edgeworth? Hmm? You should have told me! Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Don't you think the statute of limitations is right now, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it! Urgh. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what you two did! Well, you have always been something of an insufferable emotionalist. Yeah, and you get worked up too easily, too. The death! The death sentence for both of you! Man, if only I'd known, I'd have become a prosecutor! The same goes for me, only the other way around. For the longest time, I thought that I might have killed my own father. I thought I might be a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Edgeworth. Want to switch, right? Hey, y'all! Line up! I'll we'll take a photo! Hey! Photo time! Let's go! And I'll call that dinner on me! Detective Gumshoe took it out. Uh, took us out on the oh, town. Oh, damn! I was expecting a photo. Yeah, I thought I was gonna get a photo too. That would've been nice. We celebrated Edward's newfound freedom, even though Edward himself was still in detention. What? I guess they still have to like process everything. I guess, but. Well, I sure hope we got to go out and like go to dinner with them. Yeah. Whoa! I went a little overboard yesterday. My head hurts. Huh? It's only five. Maybe we should go back to sleep. Are you hungover, Phoenix? Probably. <laughs> Just celebrate, I mean, come on! That's fair, that's fair. Hmm? What's this? A letter? Good morning, Nick. You were really impressive yesterday. Seeing you, it made me think about what I'm doing here. I'm a spirit medium. In training, of course. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth, too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was useless. So, I've decided to go back to my training. I'll become a fully fledged spirit medium for starters. I couldn't say it to your face, so I left this letter. 
Goodbye, Nick. Good goodbye? What time is it? Good. Uh, the first trains for the mountains have already left. To, 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 the, to, to the station. Ba -ba 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 -ba. If only I could speak sometimes. I guess I'm too late. Hey! N Nick! Maya! So, you're leaving? Yeah. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. And I think you'll do fine without me, Nick. Be good, okay? Well, wait! Damn, I was expecting Edgeworth. <laughs> Hold on a minute! Well, I mean, Edgeworth doesn't really know Maya that well. I guess. Or maybe Gumshoe, just being like, Hang on a second, you can't leave my pal! You're, you're like his major buddy! Like, my pal's gonna be all lonely! He needs you on his side! <laughs> but you can be his pal, Gumshoe. What? Nah, I can't. I'm a cop. He's a lawyer. Like, I respect him and everything, but we have a working relationship. No, no, no. You, you gotta be, like, there for him 24-7. <laughs> you, you're his cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? I never could have saved Edwards without your help. Huh? On that last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes. Only her voice, but still. It was the very end of the... when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Detective Gumshoe helped, and Mr. Grossberg, and even Larry. I'm the only one who couldn't help. I was useless, Nick. But you were the one who stopped on Karma, Maya! Huh? I... I didn't do anything! All I did was wander around in a daze. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Evidence? Show Maya evidence to cheer up. Take that! A bullet? Von Karma was conv convinced he had taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence we needed. This was a bullet that put an end to Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? I'm going to complete my training and come back. Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run that office by yourself. You're hopeless. Uh, I don't know about that. So, this is it? See you soon, Maya. Thanks, Nick. Yeah. And so, my story ends. Time to turn a new page and say goodbye to the novice detective attorney that I once was. Defense attorney. Defense attorney. Is it like detective attorney? Whoops. Now a new story begins, with the same old crazy cast of characters. Ha! Don't think you've graduated yet, amateur. Mr. Wright, perhaps you'd like to rethink that claim. Er, yes, Your Honor. Uh-oh, I got a bad feeling about this. What? That's it? Uh... I think I said there was another one. There is. Um... This, okay, so, oh. Hey, pal, Mr. Edgeworth came down to the precinct to wish me a happy new year. Talk about a pleasant surprise. Ooh, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> then he hung his head low and went right back outside. Kind of like he was embarrassed or something. Strange, huh? Eh? So, in the original DS games only had four trials, but... In the remake, they added a fifth trial as like a bonus. Oh. Okay. Huh? Nick? I mean, I haven't seen him lately. Who, me? I don't work at a cheese shop. That Missy's a nice lady, but she's not exactly what you'd call a cheap date. Huh? Oh, she's in her eye right now. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Larry. Right. Who? Right? Yeah, I remember him. I hear he's been busy lately. You know, I'm not ring, ring, not to ring my own bell, but I sort of taught him everything he knows. I'm sure he's grateful. I don't remember him teaching him anything. <laughs> right, he was just the guy we had the first trial against. Right, he was just there. Yeah.
Phoenix Wright? Hmm. Ah, the defense attorney for whom I wrote that av Avedon for, yes. Oh, you should know, I've taken over management of Gatewater Hotel recently. Should you be in the area, please stop by. So he's the manager now? Why does he still have the Apparently. fucking... Maybe he just likes doing it? Maybe. Ah, hmm. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Phoenix Wright. Ah, yes, me as understudy, but you know what? I wonder who's doing. I would seen him of late. Ah, the days of my year. The scent of first woman, you see. Who the fuck's looking for him? Uh, that's a good question. Phoenix Wright? Is he an actor? Well, I'm not buying it. It can't be a star with a name like Phoenix. Did you know they're... Did I... Did I... Did you think we're not... Jeez Louise. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. She's still the same old old bag. Same old bag. Yeah, same old bag. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm pleased to announce the Pink Princess is a hit. I'm sure that I, I sure owe that Mr. Wright a great deal. Oh, I keep saying my keeping I'm keeping my face on a public eye until the show's over. I wouldn't want to ruin any kids' dreams, you know. Poor guy. Yeah. He's really with that bad look. I don't know why he. No, nah, whatever. Oh, I got a letter from Maya the other day. It sounded like she caught it the cold standing under a waterfall. I wanted to visit, but I didn't have time. So I sent her Pink Princess trading card. She says she can't buy them where she is. What kind of place is she living at anyway? Woo! Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> Freaking Edgeworth. <laughs> I just can't get out of that. That's what he decided was... Right? Who's that? You want to talk? Let's talk about Pink Princess. All right. But, you know, I stepped into the studio the other day. And I saw her. The one inside the Pink Princess suit? Uh, what a dog. I was kind of shocked of a boy of my tender age. What? Because, uh... Oh yeah, doesn't Will Powers play the Pink yeah, Princess? Yeah, he's, he's also playing the Pink Princess. The fuck? So the boy saw Pink Princess take the costume off and he was like, Wait a minute, what? <laughs> yeah, I remember, right? That lawyer guy. Huh? Me? I'm a dream to become a paranormal photographer. You know that picture I took of everyone? Well, just behind them there's a ghost. For real? Now that that's talent, I'm gonna be famous. Uh. Essentially, who the fuck are we like supposed to be playing as right now? Who's looking for right? That's a good question. And why? Oh. Oh. There actually was a ghost too. Yeah. She wasn't lying. <laughs> uh. Damn. Hmm. Fucking hard, man. <laughs> what? A brand new episode. This is the bonus one. Uh, rise from the ashes. Mm-hmm. I just like a Phoenix boy. Train, I guess, in a large city somewhere. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that the girl showed up. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. Um... Do something similar... Wait, actually I don't know who this is. But if it is who I think it is, do something similar to Maya's voice. But not exactly the same. There you are! Finally! Yeah, there it is. Where have you been? 
My sister's trial is tomorrow! Um, who are you? It doesn't matter who I am! It only matters who you are! The famous defense attorney, Mia Fey! Oh, uh, you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Fey is, is no longer works here. So, you are a copy boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're THE Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edgeworth murder case? Uh, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. But you are Phoenix Wright, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try it elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time! But... Please, you have to help! It, it's my sister! Maya? Could it be? Okay, I'll hear you out. R really? Thank you so much! My name's Emma. Emma Sky. I'm a scientific investigator. So... Yeah, she's basically like a reverse Maya, kinda. Like, instead of doing spirit medium stuff, she's a scientist. Okay. Scientific investigator? Oh, right, well... Mia's plant Charlie. I've been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Looks like the cleaning day at the hotel across the way. I hear they're planning a second branch outside the city. You know that. He gads. The bear body is staring right at me. He gads! What? There's a poster of a steel samurai on the wall. Maya stuck it up there the, uh, on the day she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. But, what? There's surely enough room to also put up the one from the post that Mia had, right? Probably. <sighs> Difficult looking legal books stand for, in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one and they made my head hurt. When I close it, it's still got my hand and my... Eh, it's the same thing. I didn't know that. Mia's desk. I sit here even though... Yeah, I sit here less now that I've stopped taking cases. I have to at least dust it off once in a while. Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right! Is something wrong? No, it's just... You seem kind of, er, jumpy? Or maybe just young? Yeah. I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, I see. Wait! Only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known, at my age no less. Um, so what is exactly your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job, at my age no less. Great, I'm not a future professional in training. So what's this case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it! She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't! So, it's a murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it, she didn't do it! I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. J just talk to her! You have to talk to her! Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? So, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, then? E excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't fault her for the lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method in case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to your sister. My sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Fey person was a few years below her in school. So they went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Well, actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But, but she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Oh. I'm sorry. Did she just really has her paw just there on the- I, I know, she's very cute. <laughs> Wait, Nick, why are we still doing this? I, I thought that- <laughs> I, I know, I know. 
Uh, I'll just, I, like I said, I want to give you the the real the the, the hook All right. to come back. All right. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I, of course I want to come back and play as the last trial. That's like, kind I of have to. to, but I still want to give you the hook. <sighs> I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She's quite quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. Um, something similar to Mia, but not exactly. Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S S Sorry, ma'am. It's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want to raise this year? Hmm. Uh, understood, ma'am. What's this all about? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow, and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Hey, how do you know me? Me, I mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. Er, I'm sorry. What exactly is it you do? My name is Lana. Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for this district. You're a prosecutor? Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? Emma, Lana, I mean, they're just like... Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? And I guess we'll talk to her next time. <sighs> See you guys then. Bye!